Hi everyone, thought I'd do a quick video on the letter S. There are about, I don't know, a million styles of the letter S. The classic S is, looks like this. So it's simply a light upstroke. I stop here, here's my X height by the way. I have three squares or four dots high. And I come down, release pressure before the bottom and exit and stop there. So you can see I have this my transition triangle right here. And this is the hardest part about the S is it's this part of a reverse oval. And then to exit, I draw a separate line out like this. So if I was going to, let's say, connect this to the next letter, make sure this is long enough, and then you have um, your next letter. Another style of S, uh, let's stick with this style right now. And we're going to exit, but we're gonna go behind this entrance stroke. So I'll go up lightly, push down, release, come back, back and loop out and come out like this. So this is, um, I've seen this S a lot. I've actually been using this S. When I first started learning um, brush lettering, I actually didn't do this S at all, but I, I like it the more I use it. Another style of S, which I initially used myself or drew myself naturally is the one with the loop on top. So this is your waistline, this is your baseline, and I went above that waistline. So I would go up like this and loop and push pressure, release pressure and come in and exit. So my, probably my most uh, common S and the one that's in my workbooks is the one with the loop that goes above that uh, waistline. And then you come down right here and you exit the same draw the exit stroke the same way you did as this first S. And you can have a variation on this. So I could put the loop behind an exit and have two loops. So up, around, push, release, and I could do this. Um, the exit stroke I do the most often with my S, if I have a loop, is I loop out to the right like this. So I'll go up, do my loop and push, release, and then I'll loop out like that. This is probably what I use most often as my natural S that I go to. So the other S's that I'll show you are a printed S. So what do I mean by that? It means you start here at the waistline, you push, you release, you come back, you push, you release, and you draw a printed S. And there, there are so many variations of this S. So you can push, release, and you can drop it below the waistline. You can make it really big on top. Some people do this and they draw this uh, uh, S with a heavier, a larger uh, upper part and then a smaller lower part. So let me zoom out. Um, and it, you know what, it depends on what style you want to have. And basically I tell beginners, which S do you like the most? Which letter do you like the most? Pick one and use it. And that's all there's to it. So sometimes if I'm doing a bouncy style, I will actually use this printed S. So I'll just show you an example of that. Let's say I'm writing the word, now I don't even know what word to write. Okay, I'll write the word silence. And that's when I do a bouncy style, I tend to use this S. Otherwise, I'm using this S and this S. Um, now, the only other thing I'll address it in today's video is a double S. So yes, a double S is hard to execute. Probably this style of S is easiest to make double. So let's look at that. Um, I'll go make sure I have my X height here. And I'll go up, down, release, and then I'll exit. And then I will continue going up. So I'm gonna, with my exit stroke, it's going to become the entrance stroke for the next S. And all I recommend is when you're practicing this, you try to keep this line parallel, right? Oopsie, that's not even parallel. That, I mean that angle. So I would climb up and up that same angle, push, release, 
and exit. Any double letter takes a lot of effort, but with the S, might take a little bit more to make it the same. And it doesn't have to be the same, it depends on your style. Uh, let's take a look at this S and the double S. So I will just, if you look up here, this is the, the exit stroke becomes the entrance stroke for the next S. And I will go up and down, push, release, and climb up and down and push and release. And I just try to keep that angle pretty much the same. I try to keep, this. Is, these look a little bit different, but in the word, you usually won't notice anything if it's like that. I find probably the easiest S to make a double S is my natural one like this. So I kind of loop it and go up and loop it again. So let's try that. Um, I'll move this up. So up and loop and up and loop. The thing with this S is you have to make sure you are looping across at the right. Oh, you can see I missed, I actually didn't make a loop on this one. Um, that's another variation, but you want to make sure you loop across and you're able to keep the angle of your letter the same. Okay, uh, this S here, how do you connect it to if you have two S's? Well, I usually take this exit stroke and I connect it to the top, right around here of the next S. So I'll show you what that looks like. Push, release, and I go up like this. Do you see that? And then I start the next S like this and push and release like that. That is how I connect these two S's. I'd say this is the trickiest connection, but a lot of people love this S. I know some people have told me, it's not an S, it looks like a G, but honestly, if you like any particular letter, any style, then go with it. It's, it's your lettering, your writing, and you have to be happy with it. Thanks for watching.